The Soviet Union's women's gymnastic team at the 1976 Olympics in Montreal does a rather sedate warm-up outside for the media. Among the athletes warming up are Nellie Kim, and Ludmila Turasheva. From the time of their arrival at the Olympics, the media, especially television, will be as much a part of their life as their coach or the gymnastic equipment. Nellie Kim, a Russian of Korean descent, was 17 years old when she competed in Montreal. By the standards of her greatest rival, who is 13, she is rapidly approaching middle age. She is also physically larger than many of the girls yeah. she would be competing against. A tourist photo of Nelly, the team's coach and his wife. As leader of a team of headstrong girls, his good humor won't always hold up. July 18th, team competitions begin. The Russian team, overall the strongest at the games, is led by Ludmila Turasheva, who has competed at two previous Olympics, and includes Olga Corbett, the idol of the Munich Games, and the talented Nelly Kim. But even though they win the team competition, the Russians see most of the top marks go to a 13-year-old Romanian, Nadia Komenech. During these competitions, Nelly Kim does not perform up to her usual standard, which causes her team coach some anxiety.
Although Nellie Kim gives an elegant performance on the beam, it lacks fire. She seems unable to draw a response from the crowd, unaware that, for the moment, she is at the center of the biggest show on earth. On the beam, you lack precision. You go too quickly, as if it were on fire. Why do you go so fast? You have 30 seconds. You have to make your transitions in a way that shows off every part of the exercise. Spectators react a lot. I've always told you the show is very important. An angry coach comes down from the stands for a word with Nellie Kim. She refused to take his advice on the strategy for her vault and made the same mistake twice. Now he wants to have a little chat. Сегодня тоже одинаково. Разделите. Сегодня одинаково. Так, я с фотоаппаратом на награждение иду. Фотографировать. And why not like that? Tell me. There, like that. The stop. Remember about your run to the springboard. I run to get distance. No, Nelly, no. You don't need distance on your jump. Never. Remember what Boris Grigorovich said. Watch. Relax when you start off and then. And when both legs are up, aim for the spot where you want to land. I never aim. Well, why not? These are the Olympic Games. I'm fed up with the Olympics. Okay, so forget about the Olympics. But think. Think about style. Style and not the Olympics. Precision. Precision. Think about style. I want it to look like you. I want to recognize Kim. Kim, and not the rag doll I saw yesterday. Do you hear me? Kim. Nellie Kim, the one I know. Reliable and serious. The morning of the 21st of June, a deadly serious warm-up before the individual competitions. Nelly Kim is now the brightest hope for the Russian team, and the coach's greatest worry is that all the golds could go elsewhere. At the warm-up, 
the whole Russian team can see the one person capable of making them feel very nervous and of taking all the gold medals, Nadia Komanech in the white costume. She has already been given three perfect scores. Nellie Kim tries out her double somersault and doesn't quite make it, this time. <laughs> Olga Corbett prepares for her performance on the beam. She was the first of a new breed of female gymnast. Since her appearance at Munich, they have been getting younger and smaller. Because of her skill and her almost doll-like appearance, Olga Corbett was the darling of the media at the Munich Games. Olga Corbett's performance on the beam was disappointing, and the television cameras and commentators are always there within seconds to dissect a performance, good or bad. Nadia Komanech prepares for her performance. If Corbett is a fading star, television now has a new one, one with immense talent. She is 13 years old.
обещаю. Именно с точки зрения представления своей программы. Хотя, конечно, информационные решения в этом месте держат сложно. For this, Nadia was awarded another of her perfect scores. For her performance on the horse vault, Nellie Kim finally gets one of those perfect scores that seemed up till now to have been reserved only for Nadia Komenech. On the uneven bars, Tura Sheva gives a beautiful performance, her last in competition. For it, she wins a silver medal. Now the struggle for the last gold, for the floor exercises, shapes up between Nelly Kim and Nadia Komenech. Thank you. 
beautifully executed double somersault assures Nellie Kim of a perfect score and the gold medal. Only five one-hundredths of a point behind, Nadia Komenech must be content with a silver medal. Обладателем золотой награды второй золотой медали стала наша Эдди Ким 19850. У Людмилы Турищевой серебряная награда, вторая серебряная медаль 19825. In the final analysis, Nelly Kim did extremely well and the Russian team got its gold medals. In team competition, Nelly Kim came second, after Nadia Komenech. In the individual competitions, they won two golds each. <laughs> 